Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to tour you around Perugia. The first thing we explored is the Rocca Paulina. To reach the medieval old town, you can wander through this unique underground castle. This castle was built in 1540s for Pope Paul III, but it is now being used as a pathway between the upper old town and lower new city by locals and tourists. You will find some artwork, gallery, and museum, as well as a video of how this evolved. It's definitely one of the highlights here in Perugia. Strolling around here in dim light feels like a labyrinth. There are so many rooms to explore here, but unfortunately we only have half a day left to explore Perugia. to take a series of escalators to get to the beautiful old town or use the inclined elevator. When you reach to the top, go to your right to see a panoramic view. This is called Ponte de Vista and definitely a beautiful view. cafe or restaurant just below this as you can see on the right. We'd love to hang out there for an espresso, but it was too close when we got there. Next, we went to the central square, also known as the Piazza Quattro Novembre. We came here at around 9am, and as you can notice, there isn't much crowd yet. This plaza is really one of a kind in Italy, because most historical buildings are usually scattered in the city. Fountain in Tana Maggiore, by the way, dates way back to the 13th century. Behind the fountain is the San Lorenzo Cathedral, which was built in the 15th century. Unfortunately, it was under construction during our visit. On the other side of the fountain is the Palazzo del Priori or Municipality. This was a public palace that governs the city in medieval era. You can find a national gallery on the upper floors inside. 
This area is also where the locals love to hang out or just sit around. Now, I'm really enjoying this place, but wait what happens next. Today is Friday. We arrived here uh, one, two hours so ago and it was empty. Now, yeah, it's, now it's uh, very busy. So. They open at 6 p.m. Now? Ah, I can't enter the church. Ah, yeah. So last week it was so warm here. Yeah. Like, it's only for Monday, I think. This ancient street between Via Maestra della Volta and Piazza Cavallarte is a must see. Let's go to the next attraction. This is one of my favorite spots here, the Acquadetto di Perugia. This is one of the only two surviving gates out of the eight gates in the Etruscan Wall of Perugia, now Perugia. One. Oh, you went down. Went so, did you see already the um, aqueduct? Oh no. This is the Mura. The Mura, no? You can see the, the wall from there. You know, the <laughs> Happy Pacienza is You can have a salami from here. Well, there's the salami perugino. Masarap? Pero ano talaga sa siya? Ng norcha. Okay. I'll try. Check in for some.
our hotel. Very nice. Arrivati. It's a nice hotel. You hungry? We paid around 100 euro for one night here, inclusive of breakfast. Well, the bathroom is nice, but here, this is a balcony. The location of our hotel is perfect, though not in the old town, it is close to the escalator and beneath is the bus terminal. The parking lot was also nearby. So the next series is just traveling around the old town at night. go down mm. but uh, our down direction is over there yes you're right the Sultan center is really busy at night What I also like about Pusha is because they are foreign friendly. You won't have a hard time ordering something here because everything has a translation in English. I'm sure it is because of the famous university for foreigners. I wish we had more time to explore Perugia, but we just stayed basically less than 24 hours as we move on to Assisi, the next town.
Breakfast was not bad, but I'm not so used to eat cakes in the morning. I would prefer if they had more fruits to be honest and maybe better quality of cold cuts. There is also a swimming pool in Jimmy's hotel, but maybe next time when I come back and stay a little longer. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and leave a comment.